오, 기캐. 글씨 잘 쓴다. 아, 지금 이메일 쓰려고 하는데 좀 도와달라고? 근데 혼자 써도 잘할수 있지 않아? 에이, 한글 키보드를 못 쓴다고? 그래, 내가 가르쳐 줄게. The first thing you'll need to do is add a Korean keyboard in your computer settings. You can do that by going to your keyboard options. In Windows 10, this is called Edit Language and Keyboard Options. On a Mac, you can add it in System Preferences under the tab called Languages and Text. On Linux, you're probably busy programming your own Korean keyboard right now, so I won't bother you with the basics. To switch from English to Korean, or vice versa, simply press Alt, or press the icon that says Ka, or shows a capital letter A. And that's it! You've enabled your Korean keyboard and we're ready to start typing. For this video, I added Korean alphabet stickers to my keyboard. They can cost as little as $1 if you buy them online. I've personally never used them. So here's how to type. In Korean, you'll use the same 26 letter keys in English, from A to Z. You can see that all of the consonants are on the left, and all of the vowels are on the right. So let's talk about how to use the keyboard to type in Korean. When typing Korean syllables, start with the letter farthest from the top left, and then go to the top right. Then go from the bottom left to the bottom right. So the order you'll type is left to right and top to bottom. For example, to type ka, you would first type the left letter on the keyboard, which is R, and then the right one, K. And to type mo, you would first type the top letter, which is A, and then the bottom letter, H. To type pun, start from the top left letter, which you can type with Q, then go to the top right, K, and then finally go down to the bottom letter, S. Typing diphthongs works in the same way too. First type the left vowel, and then type the right vowel. But some letters also require the shift key. For example, you'll need to use the shift key in order to type the five double consonants, as well as the vowels ye and ye. For these letters, first hold shift, and then press the corresponding key. So pressing just Q will create a regular letter, and pressing Q while holding shift will create its double version. Let's try to type a word. We'll type each syllable one at a time. First we'll do an, which is typed in this order. So to do that, we'll need to type on the keyboard D, K, S. For the second syllable, we'll type S, U, and D. The keyboard will automatically know which letters go with which syllables, as long as you type them in order. So let's take a look at an example of what I mean. This word is 사람, and it means person. So to type it, we'll first type the left syllable, 사. Then we'll start typing the next syllable, 남. But when you do that, you'll notice right away that the first letter is still attached to the bottom of 사. But don't worry, just keep typing and the keyboard will figure it out. Once we type the next letter, which is a vowel, the keyboard will know what we meant to type. After all, Korean vowels always come together with a consonant. So if you just keep typing, the word will look correct when you've finished. That's really all there is to it. It just takes practice. But it won't be long before you'll find yourself typing without even looking at the keyboard. If you want some additional practice, I also made a game that you can use to practice your typing called Hangul Attack, which you can download for free from my website. And that's really all there is to it, it just takes practice, and it won't be long before you'll find yourself typing without even looking at the keyboard. The best way to get better and faster at typing in Korean is to just type more Korean, send messages to your pen pals, write journals online, and chat with friends. Thanks for watching, and if you want to become a supporter of GoBilly Korean, I'll put a link in the description to my Patreon. And remember that new videos are uploaded here every week, so click subscribe and follow along. 그럼 다음에 또 봐!